Hopefully this angle is okay because the small tripod that I had ate shit. So I'm propping this up with my computer. Welcome to Mooney Reads. My name is Beck, and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I plan on reading in July. In July, I plan on participating in the Transathon and the Fuckathon, so the books will be for those. First, I'll talk about the books that I am going to be buddy reading. I have Between Perfect and Real, which I was supposed to read last month with Sage, but neither of us read it, so I'd like to read it this month. It's also good for the Transathon. I also have The Ghosts We Keep by Mason Deaver, which I will be buddy reading with Nico, um, and this is also good for the Transathon. I will also be continuing my kind of slower buddy read through You Will Get Through This Dark Night, which I am buddy reading with a friend who is not on booktube or bookstagram. I have a lot of stuff that I didn't finish last month, but I have a few things that I'm going to be focused on finishing a little bit more that I think I'm most likely to finish. Um, Nonkindness of Ghosts, which I'm actually primarily listening to on audiobook, which is good for the Transathon, and I think could also fit for the Fuck Colonialism prompt for the Fuckathon. And then Dear Centurion by Aquike Mezzi, which is also good for the Transathon, and I think would also cover fuck the gender binary, and fuck colonialism prompts for the fuckathon. Another book- fucking fireworks. It is the second, not the fourth. If there are fireworks in the background, that's just gonna have to be okay. It's the second. At least these ones don't sound like gunshots, though, which is an improvement. Another book that I'll be carrying on from last month is Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. This actually comes out on the 6th. Will I finish it before then? I would not hold your breath. But I'm going to try. And I have another arc that I would like to get to towards the beginning of this month. That is Affliction, Growing Up with a Closeted Gay Dad by Laura Hall. This comes out on the 13th. Now, I have several other nonfiction books. Um, will I get through all of them? Probably not. This is more of a list. Really, every TBR is a list of stuff that I'll maybe mood read. Um, when have I ever finished a full TBR? Probably never. But that's okay. These are the books on my radar, and they all go with the fuckathon. So, first. I have Gender Trouble by Judith Butler, which I'm planning on reading through with a group of people on Instagram. Should this have been the only book on my July TBR if I was planning to do that? Yes, but apparently I like pain and also not finishing literally any books. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get through a decent portion of Gender Trouble. This is a book that I've read before, kind of. Um, I have read through the beginning of each chapter of this, and I have read sections, and I've read things from Judith Butler, so like I know Gender Trouble, so maybe it will be less difficult to go through it, um, but I've never actually earnestly read it from cover to cover, so I would like to do that. And this fits with the prompt, uh, fuck the gender binary. And it also fits for the transathon, because Judith Butler is non-binary. Next I have Polly Secure by Jessica Fern, if I'm feeling in the mood for some self-help, and this goes for the prompt, fuck with polyamory. Next, I have Our Prisons Obsolete by Angela Davis, which of course goes with the prompt, fuck the police. Then I have The Red New Deal, Indigenous Action to Save Our Earth, which goes with the prompt, fuck colonialism. I also want to continue reading Sister Outsider by Audre Lorde. I'm kind of resigned to the fact that this is just going to be a slow read. I think that's the most appropriate anyways, um, with just the way that this essay collection has gone. It's really wonderful. My brain just doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to continue through this. If by some miracle I do actually finish it with everything else, um, I would say that it probably fits Fuck Highlander Misogyny, considering some of the themes um, and would probably 
also go with font colonialism to a certain extent as well. And the final book that I have has nothing to do with any of the readathons. I've just been looking a lot at cult books, and this is a newer book about a contemporary cult. Yikes. Um, and that is The Storm is Upon Us, How QAnon Became a Movement, Cult, and Conspiracy Theory of Everything by Mike Rothschild. I borrowed it from work, which is why there's no dust jacket. Um, so I'm probably going to be reading this sooner rather than later because it's been itching my brain for a second. Do I have, like at least five other books that are slightly on my radar that I haven't talked about? Yes. But I'm going to leave it at that. Um, these are very tentative July reading plans. I honestly wasn't going to have a TBR at all other than my buddy reads, but the fuckathon is happening and I can't not do something for the fuckathon. So that's what I have. If you've read any of these, let me know what you thought about them in the comments. And if you're participating in either of these readathons, let me know about it as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.